Hey, Coach, I know it's uh, a little crazy to think about. It, it took this long before Deuce had an off game, but when you we'll go back and look at everything with him, what, how do you guys move forward to make sure that doesn't happen again? Uh, just to take advantage of opportunities. That's all. I mean, it wasn't it, the numbers weren't there, but um, he he played well. He graded out high. Um, just didn't have those big opportunities to have those big plays. Was that something West Virginia was taken away, or just something that wasn't wasn't out there for you for for a week? No, there was a couple of things things there. Um, we just didn't get back to it, and because uh, you know we got down and and start pressing a little bit, but. Um, we just got to settle in and get back to the our basics, and uh, I think uh, you'll see you see different things this weekend. I know, uh, based on what we saw last year and at times this year, you're you're still a team that would love to have four or five running backs in every game. How's that uh, quest coming to develop depth behind um, Vaughn and, and Trotter on this roster right now? Well, it's going good. It's going really good. Uh, guys are getting an opportunity to get a lot of reps in practice. Um, you know, it's a long season, so. You got to get guys ready to play. You never know what can happen week to week. So guys are getting better every day. All right. Thanks, Brian. Appreciate it. You bet. <clears throat> Derek. Hey, Coach, I know the numbers weren't there for Deuce, and you kind of already touched on it a little bit, but did you get just as much satisfaction out of him making that really good cut block in, in front of a big play that happened against West Virginia too? No question. I mean, one of the things we talk about all the time is, you know, don't just think you're a ball carrier or, or a pass catcher. You know, you got to be able to do everything. And, and his blocking is getting better as he gains more confidence. And that was a great cut block uh, to see that. that. That put a big smile on my face. In terms of Tyler Burns, he saw a little bit more run against West Virginia than in prior games. Was that a product of him kind of earning those opportunities or something you saw from West Virginia? Yeah, what, what I've done is I've given guys some packages in certain plays in certain formations. And so his number was called a couple of different times, and uh, he got those opportunities and took advantage of it. Thanks, Coach. Pitts. Hey, coaches, you just mentioned trying to get some other guys ready. Is anyone else maybe getting close to seeing some time at running back? Uh, really, really pleased with KJ Shanko, uh, freshman running back from Texas. He, he's his body's changed since he's got here. Uh, he's really done a good job of understanding the offense. He runs the ball really well between the tackles. Uh, he's very good in pass pro. So uh, he keeps developing, and, and who knows what could happen in the next two or three weeks. Thank you. Brian? Hey, Brian, it kind of seems like we're going down the line and just asking about all the various running backs. But I, I guess uh, because I'm one of these people who likes to kind of project and, and things like this, um, I've maybe been a little bit surprised about Jacardier's lack of playing time. Um, and I just didn't know, is it, is it more that he just needs more consistency in practice or is it just the other guys have been, have been better and that's kind of where his lack of reps are at? Well, I think it's, it's all about consistency with us. Yeah. Uh, that's, the most, that's the most important thing. And uh, when guys get their opportunities, they got to take advantage of it. And, it's, and it starts in practice. And not saying he has not done a good job, but uh, it's just being consistent and, and, and getting those opportunities and taking advantage of it. How much for him, because I think maybe you mentioned this after he signed, is it just that he came from such a, a small level of football in terms of like he was playing at a very small uh, class size in Illinois, is it that he's just still really adapting to playing guys who are Big 12 caliber athletes? Yeah, I think that's some of it. I mean, I think his development mentally uh, is a part of it also. Um, you know, he was in a system that basically just gave him the ball and understanding that running good tracks, having good footwork, uh, having good eyes, reading your dots, and understanding blocking schemes. It's all development. Last one here, Kellis. How would you say the team just overall has handled the loss uh, since Saturday? That's not something you guys have tasted in a little while. I think they've done a good job. We came back Sunday, went back to work, uh, had a really good practice Sunday night, and had a really good practice yesterday. Um, and guys and our leaders are stepping up to challenge guys to make sure today is just not a day off. It's a day to continue to get better uh, as far as the details of the game plan. So I, I think guys have done a good, really good job with it. And I, I know you don't coach him. He's on the other team. But what are your impressions of Chuba Hubbard and what he was able to do last year and, and carried on this season? Well, I think he's, he's a really good back. They get, they get a couple other good backs also. But the thing that's impressive about him is uh, – he can get in a hole and get out of it and then hit the big, the big home run. And uh, believe me, I saw it firsthand a year ago. But uh, he's, he's big, he's fast, 
Uh, he catches the ball really well out of the backfield. He's a pretty impressive back for his size.